Now, first of all, so to integrate our uh, static UI with our GraphQL backend, let's first of all look at what components do we have here. Have this input field in private to do's, and if we switch to public to do's, we have the same input field. We have a bunch of to do's here with load more, more to do's button, as well as a bunch of to do's presented here in the list. So currently what we'll focus on is these to do's. Let's get back into the code and let's look at our components. So in our to do's, we have to do's list, which will show this to do one, this to do two, these ones. As you can see, it's just a mock data. So what we want to do, we want to remove that and integrate the, the actual data. But before integrating that, let's talk about how we write a query to get all my to-dos. So I will get here in a graphical and start writing a query. We'll call it get my to-dos. And inside, I want to go uh, get all to-dos which are not is uh, not public. So I, I will check. So I will check if a flag is false. And also, I want to order my to do's by by created it in descending manner. I will return ID, title, created it, and is completed. Let's run that. And we don't have any private to do uh, at all for this specific user because this is the new user, right? Now let's check if we are correct with the query. And this one, this query with is public equal true will be something that will run here for our uh, public to do's. But to, uh, we will get to that later. So the next step is to get this query to the client and integrate everything into our app.